Hi, let me give a quick demo of PG Gather and how it can be utilized for gathering performance and configuration information about a Postgres instance. So for the demonstration purpose, I have an environment where I am going to run PG Bench with the four clients for 200 seconds. So the work is uh, the workload is currently running and here uh, I have all the file all the repository files and the performance inf information can be collected by just executing psql minus x minus f and gather dot sql and redirect the output to a out dot text file so this script may take 20 plus seconds to execute because there is delays within. The delays are incorporated to uh, collect uh, uh, the wait events. If at all any errors are happening, uh, it will be displayed, but you can ignore. Currently, the output is collected to the text file. Mm. And uh, uh, if you open it is a set of copy commands uh, and uh, set of uh, TSV values. So there is uh, mm, nothing much hidden. It is also auditable. Uh, if it is a customer environment um, or a user who don't know the Postgres, uh, the, this output file can be handed over to an expert for analysis. This is only thing uh, need to be done in an environment. Uh, it is not intrusive. Uh, it is only select statements and uh, it won't harm uh, the environment. It's a plain SQL. Uh, the gather SQL is a plain SQL uh, script. Uh, only SQL statements. Uh, SQL select statements, I mean. Okay, so now once this output file is handed over to expert for analysis, uh, so this data can be imported into a, a set of tables and the table schema is also provided, uh, but this output file may contain some uh, unnecessary information. So for that, uh, a um, set command can be uh, utilized. So here is an example. I'll explain that. Um, this output file and a uh, set of cleanups are done using said and the data is getting imported to a local instance uh, which is this is not the production instance it is local to the uh, to the environment where the analysis need to be happening this could be a desktop or a, a small Linux container kind of yeah once this is done um, a, uh, if there is an existing set of tables uh, with the same name it will all will be dropped and new set of tables will be created and the data will be imported at this stage we can generate the uh, report out of this this is a very basic report uh, and remember we have a lot more data in data in the table so if you collect connect to the database local database um, we can see there are a lot of uh, tables so this is a uh, information from PG stat activity blocking sessions PG class information configurations databases indexes etc uh, etc et there, there are a lot of information Okay, and um, this information can be utilized by a another SQL script uh, called gatherreport.sql to generate uh, an HTML file. Okay, so it's really quick. Uh, it is generated, and uh, uh, we can open that uh, report. Um, um, 
so uh, basically it provides uh, which what type of environment it is and uh, when when the instance was started so it is two hours before uh, is in recovery etc etc the, the basic uh, the whole server environment information and the connection information and the major uh, databases in in that environment these are the the header header information kind of let me minimize the info and uh, all the table related information um the the tuples so the the beauty of this script is um all these uh table can be sorted so just click on this header part uh, it, it will be sorted so uh, ascending and descending sort so for example uh, currently the pg uh, bench branches has highest uh, uh data tuples to live tuple ratio and when it was last analyzed etc etc and um, for all the tables corresponding toast information also will be uh, collected and the aging so we can just click on that and get the the highest aged table okay um all the tables in the report are sortable and um, when we go to the parameter settings mm, um basically the the name of the set, uh, parameter and its settings and un units will be displayed and um the the problem cases we, or uh, where we really need to give some attention will be highlighted uh, and uh, some of the parameters will be uh, converted into corresponding gb size uh, hint will be there just mouse over uh, and i uh, mean so this in kb uh yeah and uh whatever things are really wrong uh, or really um, need attention um, yeah, sometimes even it will be highlighted with a, a red background okay and when it comes to session summary how many are active and how many are idle in sessions and overall wait events uh information will be uh, displayed and um, session details and blocking sessions and top 10 sessions extra will be displayed in the report but um this report is just a quick overview of the information uh, what we collected uh, and there will be more information available in the tables so um, i would encourage you to uh, look into corresponding tables some of the samples um scripts uh, queries uh, is uh, shipped along with the project say uh, analysis queries uh, for example these are some some of the samples uh, said uh, to identify query to identify uh, identify what what the idle uh, transaction is doing um and what is the wait event associated uh, and uh, which is the session at the at the top of the blocking um yeah um so for example uh, if if we want to uh, see this copy this and uh, connect to p okay these are the wait events associated with it, that idle in transaction uh, uh, just for example so the, the there is a uh, lot more information uh, available in the in the back end uh, tables that's all uh, i hope uh, this gives a quick overview of what is uh, pg gather and thank you